so quiet outside. It's a nice temperature though. Yo, I've actually been trapped inside all day and I haven't really gone outside except for twice till that I'm out to pee, but I've been like isolating myself. No wonder why I feel like Ew, why am I still in my jeans? Ugh, I forgot with like summertime comes mosquitoes And also my self tan is like patching off so it looks crusty I just want to thank Ernest for sponsoring a portion of today's video I know that was really random, <laughs> just bear with me I literally brought out the karaoke machine because I was that down bad today Do y'all remember when you used to like do karaoke when your parents weren't home And like you thought you would be a singer and like you would like photo booth record yourself Thinking that you were gonna be like one of those girls that blow up on YouTube like doing covers Cause I mean time is currently 11.31 I haven't been awake for 12 hours yet Battery low Shut up I'm gonna like just be talking y'all today Because clearly as you guys can see I'm in a mood I just want to thank Ernest for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I know a lot of y'all are still in school or like college and Ernest is a private student loan and refinancing. Company. Basically, Ernest is just trying to make like higher education more affordable and accessible to people. They offer some of the lowest interest rates on the market. They're just really nice to work with because I don't know about you, but I find it so much more helpful being able to talk to like a real human being when I need help. If you need any support, you can like call them, chat with them, email with them, and then you can like talk to like a customer service rep. With Ernest, you <gasps> no! With Ernest, you can get close to your ideal loan, pick your rate, payoff date, and see how much you have to pay before you sign. And getting a rate estimate does not affect your credit. Thank you to Ernest for sponsoring that portion of today's video. You good, my guy? Bro's out here salivating. But I'm gonna be answering questions and stuff, but hi, my name is Mai. I'm 19 years old. And I've literally been having the most Oh my god, I'm so sorry for coming on here and like not being in like a chippy, happy, positive mood. I just felt like talking to y'all today because I feel like I haven't like just turned on the camera and talked in a while. I feel like I've been like making such like, oh my god, aesthetic videos lately. And I'm like, girl, you literally posted a, what did I post today on YouTube, y'all? I literally posted a productive day in my life, but today I literally did absolutely nothing. I just posted the video and I'm like, yeah, my life is not like that. Especially today, oh my god, I literally just finished bawling my eyes out in front of the mirror because I just... Like today I could barely bring my ass to go outside and all of a sudden I think my life is ending and that like I'm about to be mentally ill again Like, you know, I've just been spiraling a part of me was like, oh no If I post this online then like, I don't know I feel like people are gonna pray on my downfall once they see me like this But then I was like, girl, just like, why do you care so much? Like, do you remember what you built your YouTube on was just like being real and raw But I feel like now that like, it's like my job and like I feel like now that I have like so many people looking up to me Like it kind of scares me and I feel like I need to like perfectly curate my vlogs, you know what I mean? But I'm like, this is what I miss doing Obviously I love what I'm doing now, but if you don't know what I'm talking about, like go watch like my old, 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 old videos back when like I had like bleached hair or whatever. You'll see what I mean. I used to be so like sporadic. I was also like mentally ill. So we're like gonna try to not go back and like that. And I feel like now my videos are like so much more aesthetic and everything, but like, I feel like I'm not myself as much, even though I am. It's not like I'm hiding myself or anything. It's just like, I feel like I'm not doing exactly what I want to do lately. You know, I feel like, like I'm holding back on like what I want to like show y'all. I just want to be like more real and open with you guys. I feel like I'm enjoying myself the most when I do that. But there's a part of me that's really scary to show like my real self there's like a reason why like i have a spam account on instagram it's because like i'm my like real weird self on my stories there and i feel like if i put that like on youtube on my channel that that wouldn't appeal to everybody like it would kind of scare people away i guess for this past month actually i've been going through this which just feels so nice to tell you guys actually because i'm like about to cry because i feel like i've actually been holding this off like this conversation off for a while now i've been like talking to like other people about it but like i haven't talked to you about it i'm just like why have i been trying like obviously it's been working because like my youtube channel has been like like it's all i could ever ask for you like so much support like it's all i could ever ask for Ugh, i'm getting so sappy <clears throat> um but it's like literally why am i trying to appeal to the masses i would have so much more fun with what i do if i just like was myself Fully. But I've said before in one of my videos that my biggest fear is like dying and not being myself And it's like so funny because I'm, I'm not even following that like I'm not being my full self And it's not like I'm putting on an act or anything guys the person you watch is me But it's just like a salary stick version of me you know what i mean like watered down and like there's so many things that i want to do on youtube and like so many different things i want to like try like in regards to like filming styles and all this stuff but i'm like oh let me just like stick to what i do just because like people like it but it's like no i want to be like a growing evolving person you know and i feel like i've just been like lately trapping myself in a little box trying to be this lifestyle girly oh my god i can't believe i'm saying this out loud i've never even admitted this to myself i'm, I'm scared. scared i've literally just been like trying to be this person that i think that people would like and clearly y'all and love the lifestyle girly content and like I do too but like I miss being impulsive going on trips vlogging me doing random shit, 
you know what I mean? Like, like no, no structure to my videos. I'm just going outside and having fun and just being a teenager and just like taking you guys along the journey. Not, not curating a morning routine and going grocery shopping and and doing a workout routine for y'all on YouTube just so that you guys can be motivated to do the same. Like, I miss just having fun and bringing you along with me on the adventures. And a part of me is like you need to start doing that again. Like that's the stuff that makes me happy is doing fun things and showing you guys what fun things I'm doing and taking you along with me. See, like a part of me is like, don't post this video. This isn't what you should be posting on your channel. This is gonna get like no views, my. This is gonna get no views, don't post it. It's not gonna be good for your channel. Meh, 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 meh. Shut the f up. Why did you start it when you were younger? So you could talk to YouTube because no one in real life would listen to you. So why have you all of a sudden changed and now you do YouTube for other people? Why don't you just do it for yourself like you used to, right? You feel me? We gotta take it back. We post whatever we want, not what everyone else wants. I also just wanna talk about how I had the worst day today. Nothing bad happened. I just like woke up really late cause I'm jet lagged cause I've just been traveling for the past month. And I just like felt so lazy. I had a whole to-do list of things, really important things that I needed to get done and I got none of it done. And I don't even know what I've been doing all day for the hours to pass by this fast, but all of a sudden it's 11.50 PM and I like haven't done anything. And I can barely bring myself to like go take a walk outside. And I'm like scaring myself cause I'm thinking like, oh no, like what's happening to me? Like, am I like mentally ill again? All this stuff and I'm like, oh no, like this could be really bad and I'm like spiraling but then like I like went on the spam account and <clears throat> oops I like was like oh my god guys I need like a pep talk and then like I started looking at myself in the mirror and I was like dude like it's just like one bad day like why are you stressing out like it's one bad day you've had so many good days and now you think that one bad day is gonna ruin you like it's fine that you had one bad day like, it's just a day tomorrow you're gonna wake up and you're gonna have a whole new day like you haven't lived tomorrow yet the fact that you're aware of it means that like you can make tomorrow a better day like it's gonna come and go you know what I mean I can't expect to be motivated and productive and happy 24 7 like if I'm sad for a day it's gonna be fine if I'm sad for a week that's gonna be fine. And I'm over here beating myself up for having one bad day. I'm not gonna lie, like I literally just started crying because I was like, wow. In my head, I was thinking, oh my God, all this hard work and progress of like being clean and organized and waking up early and being productive and doing all this, like getting my to-do list done and always being on top of it and posting multiple times a week on YouTube. Like all this that I've been working towards for the past two years of cultivating this perfect routine is now just gone. That, like that's what's going on inside my head. And I'm like, I say that because I'm like so scared to like be like my old self again and be like depressed again and cleaning my room at 2 a.m. because I'm so depressed. But I'm just like, dude, like how many experiences and how much life have you lived since that past? Like you have, you've learned so many things since then like you're not just gonna be like that again because I beat myself up thinking that like just because I'm not on my routine and doing it anymore is means that like I'm gonna be down bad again. All that, those things within me, such as cooking, cleaning, working out, taking care of myself, being on top of my YouTube shit, that's still all within me. And I'm acting like it's just like running away from me and I won't be able to get it back. Like it's still all within me. Like that girl is still me. I'm just having a bad day or a bad week, but I can always get back to that because it is me. Does that make sense? I'm giving myself a pep talk right now, by the way, because I'm not gonna lie, like I've cried so many times today and it like concerns me. And I had to like text like people that were like, waiting on things for me, like that were like expecting like deadlines and like things to be handed in and all this stuff. And I was just like, I'm sorry, like I can't get it done today. I sound so dramatic, but like, it was like the most like heart wrenching thing to me. Cause like for the past year, literally year, I've been so on top of everything. And I know that I have so many people looking up to me and being like, wow, how does she do it? When like, this is also me, you know? But like, I just don't show it. And like a part of me right now is thinking like, oh my God, you're so dramatic for crying on YouTube. But I'm like, dude, like I just want to cry on YouTube. Like who cares? Like literally who cares? No one cares. I can post whatever I want. And like, if somebody like thinks I'm being dramatic or like, just is like, ugh, why is she doing this? It's just like, cool, well, I feel better, don't I? But yeah, I just want to say that if you are feeling like, I don't know, like how I am, that we're in this together and that I know some people may look up to me and think that I have it all together too, but like, I really don't know what's going on either. I'm learning every single day just like you are. And tomorrow I'm gonna wake up and I'm just gonna try to make it a little bit of a better day than today, you know? Just like try 1%, even like waking up just 30 minutes earlier, setting an alarm, doing something like that. And that means it's gonna be a better day than today, you know? I'm gonna go up from here type shit. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit different, but bye. I love you. East and the west, I'm racking up on my breath. Uh, power on me, I'm feeling just like a Tesla. Too much tree, the smoke is making my chest hurt. Girl on me, I'm thinking I should arrest her. Hey, I'm thinking I should arrest all night long. She putting me to the test. Got a lot on, I'm trying to take out the rest. Couldn't know my lines.